If you look at the savings environment in South Africa, it's simply not at the level that it really ought to be. By that I mean individuals at all levels of income don't save enough in this country. We tend to have a psychology of consumption, uh, which means that we are persistently and happily uh, willing to live beyond our means. We simply consume more than we earn. And we tend to not really focus on the retirement or saving aspects. And obviously, uh, there are a lot of systems that encourage us to undertake consumption. The availability of um, retail shops or very good shopping centers, the availability of credit, that if you want to undertake uh, consumption and you don't have available funds, that's reasonably easy. The increasing availability of online shopping, which you can do 24 hours a day. So we've set up our economic system in order to encourage consumption and not necessarily encourage savings. And clearly right now, if you look at what central banks are trying to do, including the South African Reserve Bank, by keeping interest rates below inflation, that acts as a disincentive to save. It actually is the central bank saying to you, you need to take your money out the bank and go and spend that money because the price of goods in the shops are going to be rising faster than if you put that same money in the bank. And so if you then decided I'm going to save and then buy the goods for cash, by the time you go looking for those items, you'll find that the cost of those goods have exceeded the improvement in your savings. So the system right now is designed, unfortunately, to encourage consumption and to discourage savings, even though the country as a whole recognizes that it simply doesn't have the right level of savings. And if you look at the statistics on South Africa, as of the end of last year, the savings level in South Africa was recorded at its lowest level ever. Which means that if you go back to our data, which starts in 1946, just after the Second World War, the current savings level in South Africa is the lowest since the Second World War. That's how much of a mindset we have in favor of consumption and not in favor of savings. The problem is very obvious, and that is as years go by and as you look to retire, um, you don't have enough savings in order to meet that retirement plan. And then unfortunately, we don't have the appropriate social systems that can really compensate for that. You can't rely on the state for any sort of meaningful uh, compensation. And generally, if you look at your contribution to your pension fund, it probably hasn't kept up with the levels that you really require by the time you uh, retire and therefore your living standards naturally drop. And so it's, uh, it's absolutely imperative that people look to supplement their savings, particularly as they get past the age of 40. Unfortunately, when we look at South Africa, we just don't see that happening at the moment. And, and worse than that, is that where people do un undertake savings and they have a, a small amount of savings, they tend to just stick to the same conservative product, which is essentially putting their money in a money market account or in a bank account. And quite frankly, under current circumstances, that is not going to yield the type of retirement that you are really after. So what this requires is, is, a, is a broader look at the savings products that are available. It's not to say that you've got to necessarily follow only one product option. There are a number of options that are available. And the industry is incredibly innovative in the different products that it develops over time. And that if you just simply spend some time investigating some of these products, maybe talking to some financial advisors, I think you'll be surprised at the mix that is available and that ultimately you can end up with a better return that doesn't require a huge amount of cost and it also doesn't require that you take on a significant amount of risk.